Millions flock to the Dolomites each winter to ski. The warm and sunny summers are much quieter, so it's the perfect time to explore these 90,000 acres of mountainous terrain. Now, the best way to get to the top is to get the cable car. I guess it's their version of a bus, and it only takes 12 minutes. I'm dreading this. This cable car runs from Bolzano to the top of Mount Renon every 20 minutes, where I can join one of Italy's highest railway lines. This is my worst nightmare. Okay, I may be missing the view, but I don't really care. I can get the view when I go up there. It's gonna wobble again. On the way down, I'm gonna walk. So, from a modern cable car to a 125 years old electric train. This is the local train, which I'm so excited to use because for me it's like going back to the past. Martin? Hello. Hello. How are you? Hi, I'm fine. This is your train? This is our train. This is beautiful. Now. This is the Renon line. Operating all year round, this tiny train takes tourists across the Renon Plateau to some of the most breathtaking views in Italy. How many years have you been doing this? I've been doing this since 1997. Since 1997? 1997. I'm an old man. How often do you take the train up and down? This way we do only six times a day. All right. Can I put my head out? Yeah. Is this how fast it goes, or does it go faster? We can go faster also. Can we go faster? Bye, bye, bye. Faster, faster, faster. Come at this time of the year, and you can enjoy these spectacular views without battling the crowds for a seat. I mean, this is what I call a train journey with a view. And at the end of the line, you are rewarded with a true sound of music vista of the Austrian Alps. I'm inspired to make my take on an Austrian classic apple strudel, my upside down apple crumble. So the ingredients are very simple. I got a beautiful eating apple. You can use any crunchy eating apple will do the job. Get yourself a pan. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna add the butter straight away in. Good, salted butter. Very important to use salted butter because otherwise it's gonna be everything too sweet. Then I'm going to pour into the butter half teaspoon of cinnamon. Now, for the apples, I used, for four people, three large apples. Very simply what I've done, peel them, take the core out, and cut them into six pieces. So this is the kind of chunks I want. You can peel the apple before, two, three hours way ahead. The way to do it is put them in cold water, like I've done. Come here, come look at here. Then I got a lemon. Squeeze a little bit of lemon juice into the uh, water, and this is what's going to happen. It's going to prevent the apple to go completely black. So this is going to go in there. You could do this recipe with pears as well. Yeah, by the way, lay the apple sideways, because when you cook them on both sides, the middle part is going to stay nice and crunchy. Okay, beautiful. Now they are wonderfully coated. I got two tablespoons of brown sugar, just sprinkle it all over. You're gonna give an extra flavor to the apples, and sugar and butter, you're gonna start to caramelize them. Now, the base. What I got is amaretti, the crunchy one. Put them in the palm of your hands and just crush them like that. I want the big and small pieces, okay? That's the way I want them. Then we're gonna do exactly the same thing with the digestive biscuit. Look, don't put them in a blitzer because otherwise it's gonna be too powdery and I don't want that. Don't forget to check the apple, caramelized to perfection. Oh, look at the color. I'm happy, I don't want to overcook them. Leave them to rest. Let's talk about the base. So the biscuit are crumbled. The way I'm gonna combine the two biscuits, I'm going to rely purely on honey. Combine and arrange on the plate. Okay, how simple is that? Now, once you've done that, you put the heat on under the apple again, because we're gonna now flame 
the apples with amaretto liqueur. Make sure that your body stays away from the pan. And then the only thing you have to do, amaretto liqueur goes in there, tip it, and flame it. Just move it around and stay away from the flame. That's what you have to do. Move it around, stay away from the flame. It will last about five to six seconds, and then the job is done. At that point, switch off, because what we done there, we burn the alcohol, that's the flame, but I don't want to lose the flavors. Place the flambéed apples onto the crumble base. I got some mascarpone cheese. This is gonna cut through the sweet honey, the cinnamon. Beautiful. Right here, on top of the world, with the dolomite behind me, upside down apple crumble with cinnamon and amaretto liqueur. Boys! I've asked train driver Martin and fellow passenger Adrian to come and try my dessert. Molto buono, grazie. I have to say, to see the dolomiti there still with the snow on top, this is pretty amazing. But let's be really clear, I am not stepping foot on that cable car again.